just really played at a different level in the second half, which we were, were not able to respond to. Um, I thought our first half, yeah, but it's a 40-minute game. You know, for 20 minutes we played pretty well. and um, But the second half, their defense went up a notch, and it really um, affected us. Yeah, you talked about their defense, 12 second half turnovers. They really came out and seemed like they ramped up their defense. Yeah, we made some really bad decisions, um, really poor decisions, back to back, trying to feed a high low that wasn't there, trying to feed a backdoor pass that wasn't there. So just mistakes that just come with pressure. When there's that kind of pressure on you, you tend to just make some bad decisions, and we did. Duke's obviously running a pretty long bench in this game compared to, I think you only had three players coming off the bench here. Yeah. What, is that, what does that depth difference sort of do over the course of a game for you? Yeah, um, yeah, because we had, you know, Kara Dunn played 38 minutes. That's a lot. Kayla Blackshear, 39. You know, that's a lot. And, uh, and we didn't, you know, Kara normally gives us a lot more. We didn't get any points or any boards out of her today. So that was, um, you know, that's a bit disappointing. But... You know, that's a, that's a freshman playing in a game against that kind of pressure for the first time in her career. So, um, you know, we'll have to go back and look at that and see what we can do better. Gotcha. And then just um, start to uh, the, the run Duke had to start off the second half. Just what was it about Celeste Taylor on both ends that makes it so yeah, hard Celeste, to take care of that? Yeah, that's an All-American. She might be player of the year in the ACC. She's just having a heck of a season. But she's, um, she's just so – she's quick and, and you know – crafty, um, can shoot the heck out of the ball. I mean, she's just an all-around really, really good player. And she's, um, she's using every bit of her ability right now. The last game you talked about having to just keep the hot hands in there and not going to the seniors as much just because you had the players that you couldn't break the vibe of. Today, even though it was only, only, eight as pe only, only eight players, as he said, was it kind of the same situation even though Duke was getting a lot of points on the other end? Yeah, I mean, you know, you just – all you can do is go through the game and, and you just – you know what they're capable of and you're waiting to get it. Um, you know, I, I probably could have maybe not played Kara Dunn as much as I did, but I know what she's capable of and I'm waiting for it to, like, pop out, you know, to, to see it. But um, it just didn't happen for her tonight. But, but you know, I, I thought that we, you know, tried to use our bench to the best of our ability and just didn't – you know, it just was what it was. Duke was his, his better team. Uh, so, Coach, your, your team your, your team was hot offensively in the second quarter, but they couldn't seem to sustain in the second half. Just what, 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 in your eyes, what happened? Like, just yeah, the defense just stopped. got turned up in the second half, and it just took a lot of things away. They took away dribble handoffs. They took away ball screens. They took away things that we normally can um, do to score. We, we were having a hard time turning a corner. Um, yeah. But, you know, when we did turn a corner, there were a lot of people waiting there for us. And so um, – it was just really, really hard to get a good look at the basket. And how do you want to put your players in the best position to see, you know, going forward, you know, the rest of the conference play? See, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I can't hear How you. do you want to put your players in the best position to see, you know, going forward with the rest of the conference play? Well, they're still, we still work hard. You know, our practices are really tough. They're, um, they're working hard. Their attitudes are great. So we just have to keep, you know, powering through. We just have to keep powering forward and, and seeing what we can um, – how much we can continue to improve. I think we are making some improvement. I think today we didn't see it at all times because that pressure was really, really hard. Um, so we've got to be able to learn from this and learn how to attack pressure like that. It, it, it appeared that your perimeter players didn't have confidence in their outside shots and they often passed up open shots to dribble into yeah. to trouble, you know, yeah. and that, that really – yeah, Turn the game around. Definitely drove the ball. Try, I don't know where they thought they were going, but it was a conversation we had in the huddle. And it's like they were passing up pull-ups and, and to get in there where there's nothing. So um, it's something we got to go back and continue to teach, teach them. Have you all worked on countering a full court defense in practice at all? Because I know earlier in the season there was some that was a source of some turnovers. Tonight I was counting and it was a lot better yeah. than the rest of the previous yeah, part of the season. Yeah, we work on it, but uh, again, it, you know, the, our energy level in the second half was not anything like it was in the first. So you didn't see players really working very hard to go get the ball. That's a problem. 
if they're not going to work hard to go get the ball, then that, then it's going to be hard to get the ball. So uh, we had a, let, a real breakdown in that area. Yeah. In this league, I get, if you don't have strong interior defense, it really makes it difficult to stop the one-on-ones, that type of thing. And it, it, yeah. that seemed to be part of the problem also. Yeah, they, I mean, they've got shot makers. I mean, they were knocking down shots all over the place. And so, but we weren't, a lot of those shots were really good clean looks for them. So again, no, no contesting of the shot. We weren't there, but I, I go back to our energy level in the second half was not very good on any level. So it's something we've got to, you know, address and and uh, and work on. Thank y'all. Thank you. Uh-huh.